In number eight, we are asked to set up, but not evaluate an integral. There are a few complications, I guess you could call them. We are rotating around the y axis. So we need our limits of integration to be y values. The limits of integration or the borders of the region, I guess I should say, aren't y values, they are x values, but from x, y equals one, we get y equals one over x, which we should know basically what that curve looks like when x equals equals one, y equals one. When x equals two, y equals one over two. So that's that taken care of. I wrote y equals one over x so that I could plug these in. But we'll think of this distance as x equals one over y. Our limits of integration are in terms of y, so everything has to be in terms of y. Let's see here. The surface area formula then, this should be pretty plug and play, although we will need to take a derivative. But the surface area is the integral. We found our limits of integration of two times pi times the radius one over y times the square root of one plus the derivative of this squared. So the derivative of one over y, that's y to the negative first. Its derivative is negative one over y squared. When we square this, a negative squared is positive. So we just get one over y to the fourth dy. Now, the other problem. Let me find. Okay, I seem to have closed the test. Let me pause real quick. There we go. And there's, there are no complications with this arc length problem. This is in terms of x. These are in terms of x, everything's in terms of x. And the formula is one plus 
the derivative squared. So four X squared under a square root.